guys and welcome to the wine glass challenge so in this episode well in this series actually i'll be taking this wine glass around and trying to be creative with it so going to different locations and i want to get you guys into this as well so i want to start a little trend so for now i want to put this in a puddle it's night time obviously and i want to get some nice bouquets on it so i'm just going to lay it down here Try and get as low as possible. I'm also going to do a long exposure with it. So yeah, just a whole bunch of creative stuff with this glass. Just hope I don't break the friggin' thing. Right, here we go. There's a lot, a lot of puddles here, so that's perfect for what I want to try and be doing. All right, just gonna put it in this. Actually, we're putting a puddle over there. Oh, wait, I know what to do. I'm going to wait for a, for a tram and we'll... Yeah, I know exactly what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to place this here. Okay. And we'll wait for a tram. So, while I'm at it... Also, a really smart thing to do, if you don't want to get your knees wet or dirty, you should wear knee pads. It's really helpful. Especially in conditions like this. And boost that ice up a little bit. Alright. Now I'm going to turn it around this way a little bit. Like so. Okay. Okay guys, so there is a tram coming here right now. I've set up the glass. I want to try and get the, the glass in the foreground and the tram in focus and then I'll interchange focus sort of thing. So I'm at f2.8 right now because I don't want I don't want like completely out of focus. Actually, might even go like 3.2. The other side away. Yeah, that should be that should be all right. And ISO 800. Okay, so it's just that that set of lights just pull them lights over there. So we will just wait for them to, wait for them to come over. I'm pretty excited. All right. I do not want to fuck this up because I've been waiting ages for the tram. Closer. Alright so I'm going to re-attempt that, this is the third time, I realise I need to be way higher, I'm at f7.1, hopefully this is enough, actually let me just, just I don't even, I don't even have enough time, but, it's too close, alright, this is such a risky shot because th this tram driver is going to be really pissed off with me because I'm not going to move for a bit, but I don't have to move far, so, alright, here goes nothing guys,
Damn it! Fuck yes, we are! Yes, we did! <laughs> okay, alright. Now I'm gonna try a long exposure, so I'll set up for a long exposure. It's just I don't know where. Oh, this puddle here is perfect actually. Yeah, for now, I'm just gonna try and get like a reflection. And then we'll do a long exposure. I find really sick. I'm going to put the block on the I'm going to angle it this way a bit more. Okay, this did not go to expect it. I didn't realize my tripod doesn't actually go right low. It doesn't matter anyway because, you know, I've set it up like that. Shit, I think I've got, oh, I've got heaps of water on my lens. Fuck, come on, quick, quick, quick. It's gonna have to do, it's gonna have to do. Alright. Alright, here we go guys, here we go. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Go tram, go tram, go tram, go tram. Stay like that, stay like that, stay like that. No, I don't think it's how I wanted it to be. And ooh. Yeah, but there is so many little shit. Alright, here we go, here we go. Just drive, mate. Hey, soup. Alright, that's it. We're done. Oh, for Christ's sake! Whoa. Let's get the fuck out of here. Get this off the bat. <laughs> 